As I said, we are back here in uh, George D. Bagby State Park. I have never been here before. And that is because we are bordering the state of Alabama. That's correct. And the other side of this uh, lake, this massive lake here, is uh, Alabama. It's a really cold January day. Yeah, it's an afternoon already. It's one in the afternoon. I am the only folk and only guy, all the person here, the only individual, whatever you call it. And uh, yeah, we are in uh, George D. Bagby State Park. A little bit uh, walking about, see the. This massive uh, lake here, which I need to figure out what the name is. I'm probably gonna explain to you a little bit later the name because I need to figure out what's the name for this lake. And yeah, very, very picturesque. There's a Kodak moment down there. Do you know what Kodak moment is? As a, that's an idiom, a phrase <clears throat> coined back when uh, you have photos use, using uh, uh, film instead of digital uh, or take uh, pictures. The, the, the picture of choice was the color cameras. They're still around, but uh, they're more for specific uh, people that wants to, you know. Let's take a picture with... Uh... Oh, take a look at that. So apparently we have alligators here. I don't know if the river cuts through this lake and then goes uh, somewhere else later, uh, down, down some river to warmer areas so the uh, alligators can move. I'm just bothered at this point. I need to know what the name of this uh, lake is. So you're gonna scoot off a little bit here and figure out the name and catch you all later. Wow. All right, so I, I figured out the name. We are, this is the Walter F. George Reservoir. Uh, so basically it is a reservoir for hydroelectric, it's a hydroelectric dam. And it is uh, within uh, the Chattahoochee River, uh, which crosses uh, in between the borders of Alabama and Georgia, okay? And uh, a little bit more about this, uh, the name of this uh, dam or reservoir uh, is after the name of a Georgia senator. I forgot which year he served. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit of his history about uh, the name of uh, this uh, reservoir here. You see the a lot of activity, there's alligators, uh, folks uh, driving with their boats. Um, so, it's a lot of uh, activity. And again, feel a little bit quiet today. Surprisingly, a little bit quiet. It's Saturday, so I don't know if folks are still recovering from their holidays and they just taking the day off from going around. I had no idea. Anyway, I will see uh, this uh, trail inland, see what this is all about. And uh, I'm not gonna do the whole trail today because uh, I want to get back home 
and the trail, the whole trail seems to have run seven miles long. So I'm gonna make a little bit of research and see what trail, how long the trail is. Either way, I will try to do at least uh, 30 minutes and then head back. Uh, saying goodbye to the Walt George or oh, Walter, Walter F. George uh, Dam Reservoir here in George Bagby State Park. All right, there's a lot of Georges going on here. Catch you later. All right, uh, bad news. Uh, I just noticed that the uh, there's construction down down the road, so the entrance to the trail is closed, and uh, uh, the trails, uh, except the Hoochie trails, are marked like uh, with a yellow uh, ribbon on the front. So I think they are not safe for uh, hiking at this point. They're probably doing uh, seasonal maintenance. So. I'm gonna stay here in the lake, uh, let's say a few more minutes and then I'm gonna head back home because I have business to attend to. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the views folks. Uh, by the way, as, I, as this is a man-made reservoir, I believe those uh, trees used to be part of uh, probably right next to the river you know like they were not uh, into the into the water there's some picnic area here um but other than that it is what it is uh that's uh that's how the cookie crumbles i guess this is part of a river network i believe that's why you have uh signs here for alligators i don't think they're here during winter time i think they moved down uh, somewhere that is uh, warmer they migrate i may be wrong i don't know how the alligator uh, work during winter time as a curious note i think they there were alligators all the way up to new york back uh, back in the old days we're talking about probably hundreds of years ago It would be a nice place to set up a tent and spend the night seeing the sunset and the sunrise. It would be nice. Safe travels and see you all in the next uh, video. Have a good one.